Hello again. We're still looking at logarithms, and this time we're looking at a very important rule, the idea of kind of like canceling it out. We've looked at that in previous modules, canceling to like get a variable, say, on its own. In this case, what we have is log to the base 4 of 4 to the 8. Well, the nice thing here is, what is a logarithm? Well, it's asking us to figure out what does the base have to be put to in order to get the term in, say, the brackets that I just put in. So what does 4 have to be raised to, or put, what power does it have to be put to, to become 4 to the 8? Well, if we think about it, that's kind of there in the answer. What does 4 have to be put to to get to be 4 to the power of 8? Well, 8. So this can immediately be thought of as 8. And you can think, if you have the base and a number here the same, all that's left is the exponent. In fact, we could apply that power rule and rewrite this as 8 log 4 of 4. Well, what does 4 need to be raised to to get 1? Or to get to be 4? Well, the power of 1. So 8 times 1, which is, of course, the same thing. So this is a trick we're going to be using a lot. When you're using logarithms to solve an exponential equation, you want to get rid of the base most of the time. So if you had an equation with, say, I don't know, 3x. You even just had 3x and you're ultimately wanting to you somehow solve x. In this case, I don't have an equal sign. It's just an example. To get rid of this, I would use log to the base 3. Of course, remember, if this was an actual problem, I'd have to do it to both sides. So you got to be careful. But this is just showing how to cancel, because log to the base 3 of 3x is just simply x. We can do it again the same way we did here. Bring the 8, or the x in our case, down in front. Log to the base 3 of 3 is just 1, and we're good. But there is another kind of special one that's worth mentioning. It's not all that special. You can do log to the base anything you want. Log to the base 3, log to the base 7, log to the base 8.24617, or whatever you want. Log to the base a billion. It's just how useful it is normally. Well, one that shows up often is this number e. Log to the base e. In fact, it shows up often enough, and I'll write it as log to the base e of x, just to make it mo more proper. This is the same as writing ln ln of x. This is just a shorthand. This shows up often enough that we have given it its special own way of writing it. Ln is the same as log to the base e. And e is just a never-ending number. It's one of those really special numbers. You've probably heard of pi. When you're solving a circle, pi 3.14, and it goes on forever. e is another one. It's 2.718 and just keeps going on forever. But so what? We could do log to the base pi if we want. We don't normally do that, but we could. And log to the base e is also perfectly acceptable. Again, we give it the fancy notation ln, but so what? So what do we got? If I had ln of e to the x, well, just like we had here, this would be the same as x. This is log to the base e, so they cancel. And I guess it's also worth noting that if you had, say, the opposite, if I had e to the ln x, this would just equal x2. These will still cancel. So the same would be true here. If I had 4 to the log of base 4 of x, cancel, this would be equal to x. So it's, these are how they cancel each other. But remember this ln is just log to the base e just like any other log. The rules that we've been applying still apply. So, thank you.